Um, I, 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 uh, how do I review this? Words, yes, words. Those are probably what I should use for that. But what words would fit the show? I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, plot. Um, yeah, I should start with the plot. Well, it would if it mattered, because this is not a show you watch for the plot, but one you watch for the plot, if you know what I mean. So yeah, the show is about a group of high school students and their female teachers. Every episode has the same structure, where one guy gets into a situation where he sees his teacher in compromising situations where their clothes somehow come off. For example, the first episode starts with the main character going to the bathroom and seeing his teacher in one of the men's stalls. And you know, that episode is the one that probably makes the most sense, and things go downhill from there. Honestly, this show is complete trash. It's all about finding ways for teachers to get into compromising situations, most of which make absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's just about the fan service. And the fan service isn't even that good. It's censored so heavily I can't even see what's going on. Though there is an uncensored version on High Dive, which I learned after watching everything but the OVA. So yeah, if you want that, go there. Plus, the characters aren't anything more than stereotypes. Like the teachers, you have a Sundari, a sweet girl, a I don't even know, and a quiet one who doesn't know how to deal with people. There's probably a name for that, but I don't care enough to figure that out. And then the guys are even more shallow, despite what I said earlier. There actually is a plot of the characters getting together, the students with the teachers, which just feels creepy and wrong. Like, these are teachers getting together with students. No subtlety or nuance that a concept like this could use. Like, you have a weird power dynamic of a teacher over a student, not to mention at least one of the students being too young to legally consent to anything. And while you may forget about the issues with this type of relationship due to how the characters are presented, imagine if the roles were reversed. A bunch of male teachers getting with high school girls. That would be weird. And as I am a follower of Cosma, I'm all about gender equality. Then if you look at the lyrics of the opening, it's all about the teacher seducing the students. Yeah, it's very creepy. But you know what? Despite all the bad with the show, which there is plenty, I could keep going, but it'd probably be me saying the same thing over and over. But despite all that, I can't say that I didn't enjoy the show. Like, yes, it is trash. But it's fun, and while the plot and characters are simple, they work because of the simplicity. Plus, as the show got further along, they end up having some really cute and sweet moments. The show is so stupid, and that makes it funny. And the whole point of the show is how ridiculous the concepts are, and they are really ridiculous. And I actually did enjoy seeing the characters get together. Many anime seem to go for many seasons, striking out, but here we see the characters figure out how they feel, overcome their issues, and get together in a couple episodes. And I actually ended up caring about the show and started looking forward to watching it after I finished work for the day, just to see the characters' relationships grow and more weird things happen. So yeah, the anime is trash. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing more to it than that. But just because it is trash doesn't mean it can't be good. Trash can make him the experience just by them having fun. They don't try to tell a conventionally good story, but they just exist to be enjoyed for what they are. And when it comes to trash anime, this song is pretty good. I would not not recommend it if you want my final opinion. So yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time with maybe a more... I don't know what. I will figure that out when I decide to make my next video. Talk to you then.